Welcome to our review on an introduction to waves. We've got three key terms we need to understand when we're talking about waves. That's the amplitude, the wavelength, and the frequency. So when we're talking about the amplitude, then we're talking about the maximum height of the wave measured from the midpoint. So if you look at the diagram at the bottom there, you can see that there's a line that runs right through the center, and then going from that line to the very highest point of one of those crests is the amplitude. So on the far left side there, you can see that little red line going to the top of the crest measuring the amplitude, and that's in meters. Second word is the wavelength, and again, this is measured in meters, and it is the shortest distance between one point and the same point on the next wave. So for example, you might measure from crest to crest or from trough to trough. So you can see on the diagram at the bottom, we're measuring from the top of one crest to the top of the next crest. So that is one wavelength. The third and final term we need to understand is the frequency. Now frequency is measured in Hertz, which has got the symbol HZ, and it is the number of waves passing a point every second. What we've got are two different types of wave, but today we're only going to think about the transverse wave. Now, when we talk about a transverse wave, then the vibrations of those particles are at right angles to the direction of the wave's motion. So what we see is we get this very distinctive little diagram because the vibrations are at right angles to the direction the wave's going in. So if our wave was going from left to right, the vibrations would be up and down. The next calculation then is the wave speed calculation. And again, we don't have to memorize this. This will be found on page two of our exam booklet. So wave speed, which is measured in meters per second, is the frequency in Hertz times by the wavelength in meters. So to give you an example there, you've got Dylan standing on the end of a pier watching the waves passing by. The wavelength of each wave is 1.3 meters and he counts two waves every second. Find the wave speed. So we flick back to page two, find wave speed equals frequency times wavelength, substitute in our numbers. So our frequency is going to be two and our wavelength is 1.3. So two times 1.3, plug that into your calculator, gives you your answer of 2.6 meters per second. Now, if you're doing the higher tier paper, they could ask you obviously to calculate something in a rearranged equation. So don't forget to use your triangle. And the way we can do that is just put in Obviously, your speed on the top, frequency and wavelength on the bottom, and then cover up the thing you want to work out. So if we were to cover up the frequency, because it was asking us to calculate the frequency, it would be speed divided by wavelength. If we wanted to work out the wavelength, cover it up, it would be speed divided by frequency. So just make sure you remember to use the triangle if you're asked to rearrange.